Welcome back everyone. Just like last week, a lot's changing. Uh, things are changing week to week. So we are trying to stay up with the changes. We're still going forward with everything and we're looking for an opening for things to clear up so we can get our Kickstarter going, get things announced uh, for the release of the sports watch. We, by the end of next month, we'll, we should have a lot to announce. Some of the things me and my dad were going over was we will have, um, and again, these are, these are conservative dates because uh, we're, we're playing it safe, but the restock for the diver that all of you have been looking forward to, that's coming. The bracelets for the sports watch as well as the full kit of the sports watch uh, should be all ready next month to where you guys will finally start to see them pop up on YouTube channels get them viewed, and that would put us at about late June, early July for the Kickstarter because we want to give everybody time to view those, view the reviews, get a good feel for them before uh, you pull the trigger. So that's kind of where things are at now uh, with uh, everything going forward. The bracelets, you, you were thinking they'd, they'd be probably a week, a week or so? We should have them here in a week to two weeks for sure, yeah. So we'll have a presentation of, of that as soon as they're here. Uh, I'm looking quite, I'm rather excited about the bracelet option to see that so we can present a full watch to you with all the combinations possible. That's that's going to be an exciting day for us. Yeah, it'll be good. It'll be good. And we, we are working on other things as well outside of the realm of the sports watch where we're kind of taking this time that uh, was, was forced upon us to uh, plan for the year and next year as well. So we're definitely using the time the best we can so we can really attack things aggressively going forward, bring you guys new models. Uh, as my dad has said before, uh, we, want to, we want to expand the, the number of model families we have past just the standard diver or, or our sports watch. We, we want to have a robust number of model families to build on because my dad, he has amazing ideas. Uh, we're, we're really excited for what's coming in the future. So we're definitely using this time to build things going forward and we have a lot of exciting stuff in store for you guys. We're hoping between four to five model families that uh, will uh, show a palette of of, of watch styles that, uh, you know, in the traditional Swiss watchmaking, uh, uh, we're really excited about that. And we're, we're working, we're working on the, on two additional model families right now. So we will take advantage of the current timing to, to, to work on these as Joshua indicated. And, uh, we'll have a lot of, we'll be busy for this year. Yeah. Yeah, and like my dad said in the, the video we did on designing watches, designs take a significant amount of time. So the more we can get ahead, uh, if we start working on a design now, uh, we, we should have it ready to announce and release by the end of this year and so forth. So we're, stri we're trying to stay ahead of the curve. So this, this time we've been, we've been given has been, that's the silver lining there. Uh, we've been able to work really hard on things for, for our future. And like I mentioned in the video last week, we're still doing fine. Uh, hopefully you guys are too, spending your time wisely. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, uh, we'll have more things to announce going forward, get back into the regular swing of things with videos uh, covering watch manufacturing. I want to do a video that goes more into depth on my dad's background with Swatch, how he got started in Switzerland, the brands he worked with, because there's some info out there, but uh, not nearly enough uh, for me. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll be doing more of that going forward. And as always, we thank you guys for watching. Thanks. Have a good weekend.